Uh, good afternoon, uh, or I think good morning for, for you guys over there. It's uh, evening here for us in Australia. Um, welcome to our Springbok Press Conference. We've got uh, assistant coach Dion Davids and Warwick Galant uh, on top table today. Um, we're going to keep it short and sweet as usual. So um, uh, just uh, when you have a question, please raise your hand. Once you've asked your question, uh, you can lower your hand. Um, and then what we'll do is, guys, uh, toward the end for our, our international media, uh, we will have 10 minutes of Afrikaans, um, so we will just announce when we do switch over to Afrikaans. Um, and then if, if uh, like yesterday, there aren't that many Afrikaans questions uh, and there, there is an opportunity for a further English question or two, you're more than welcome to stay on um, and, and hopefully um, get a chance to, to ask your question before our time is up. So uh, without further ado, uh, I see there's already a hand up and that is Nathan. Uh, thank you, Zina. Um, Coach D, I've worked under you and uh, understand you focus on small details, especially in the lineout. But how do you go about things when a player is struggling with their primary role, example, throwing in the lineout? And then the se second part of the question wasn't it ideal to bring in another specialist soccer as a precautionary cover for Bongi, a guy like Robler who's been to a lineman camp and understands the box system? Um. Um, we've we've selected the team and um, Joseph Weber. We're glad with for the opportunity that he got in the game. Um, I think um, when you look at uh, uh, um, the contribution that he makes in in in, in different departments, um, I mean that is that is um, actually um, important for us. Just as as throwing the lineup or scrumming or kicking a ball is important. Um, and I think, um, I mean, if you, if you look um, throughout the games and stuff, um, a hooker under this pressure condition, uh, pressure situations, you will always get in a situation where you where you might lose a throw here and there. I think one of our, from our hookers were also in that position. So uh, we're just glad that, that he got the opportunity to play against such a quality side under such pressure conditions and, 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 and do well. And, and, and that is for the reason that we are looking forward for him getting another opportunity um, under pressure conditions, building his experience um, against great teams and with other players in his role in our team. Um, guys, please raise your hands for questions. I don't see anyone's hand up at the moment. Uh, Nathan, you've just asked. Um, let's go to Ati. Uh, hi, Zina. Hi, guys. Uh, just coach, I just wanted to touch base again on Joseph, you know, um, just how his, his mentality right now, his mental state right now, you know, after that game uh, against New Zealand and just how much are you backing him to bounce back? And this one maybe for, for Warwick, um, Warwick, just how are you feeling um, about getting the nod um, to start um, uh, during the weekend? And, and just for you, you know, what are sort of you, are you looking for in terms of getting those combinations right um, as the back three and just uh, what have been uh, the things that you'll be working with Coach Sticks um, during the week? I think the players are in good spirit, the camp are in good spirit. All of us are working very hard. Um, um, obviously, we've analysed the game, look at different areas of the game where we want to improve on. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we're just looking forward in, in improving on our performances for this coming weekend in, in all the different departments. Well, I think, um, yeah, I, I'm just looking forward to, to, to play this game this weekend. and. Um, yeah, like the questions asked about uh, the relationships and the combinations. I think it's, it's guys I know very well that I'm playing with. So I'm really looking forward for, for the game this weekend. Uh, Sibu Um, Thanks, Zina. How's it, guys? Uh, question for Warwick. Um, you know, after, you know, playing against uh, Wales, uh, you played at fullback, now you'll be playing at wing. You know, do you think your kind of game fits into the, the the system uh that that the box have at the moment and uh for you dion just on a coaching level the decision not to have Vili at all in the 23 um i'm sure it's not merit-based because he's actually played very well uh this year especially coming off the bench uh can you just take us through at least some of those uh thought processes uh i know france stain is in there now as the utility but uh, Vili hasn't really done anything to not be involved. 
Yeah, as I said, uh, um, I think we've selected the team um, uh, and, and winning will always be a, a, a priority for us. Um, and, and, and obviously we've selected this team with that in mind uh, because we believe um, that uh, um, the selection that we made put us in that position to, to achieve that. Um, we, I, we completely agree that um, there was a lot of players that, that had outstanding performances and, and uh, some of them got rewarded, but also we also have a, a bigger picture in mind and, 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 and building towards that bigger picture with, with the World Cup a year away. Um, it's also important to, um, to look at different combinations, um, look at building depth, game time, game experience. And uh, yeah, um, I think we, we, we're happy now to, to see France stay back um, in the squad and, and also a guy like Warwick also getting his opportunity to play. Also, your question on uh, playing on wing. I think it's an amazing opportunity to showcase different skill sets of my game. Um, I think, uh, like I said, the opportunity is there to, to, to showcase what we can do in different roles and responsibilities. And so I'm looking forward to it. Mubi? Hi, <coughs> Coach Dion. Um, just a question for you. Um, obviously, the lineups didn't go too well at Ellis Park. Um, <coughs> against the All Blacks. Um, has there been any emphasis put on this week or, uh, on the lineup training? Because obviously that's your department. And then obviously with Joseph and Malcolm as well. Obviously, I mean, um, uh, as I said, we, as a team, we, we set high standards and we look in terms of of, of where we can improve. And, and, and obviously we analyze it in terms of skill set system or, or effort of players. And uh, um, I think, uh, um, as I said, we we continuously try to improve. Um, um, if, if I think there was, in, in some cases we we got good rewards, uh, in other cases we didn't. Um, but uh, for us, it's uh, uh, it's about understanding uh, um, um, what we can do and where we can get better. Um, and and uh, I think we um, we've put in some hard work this week, and and and, and we're looking forward to improve. Zina, hi, can you mute Newsroom Africa, please? We're getting very bad feedback. The sound's coming through terrible. Cool. Uh, guys, yes, please mute as well um, so that we don't have disruptions. Mike Greenaway. Uh, hi, Coach uh, Dion. Um, question for you. Um, can you just tell us a bit more about the, the plan with Duane? Um, you know, the reason for him starting, not playing off the bench. We know he's, he's still get, getting to full match fitness. And just where he is and his, his recovery, his game, um, how, how he's feeling about his comeback, where you think he is? Um, no, it's fantastic for us having Dwayne back in the squad. Um, we understand he's an experienced campaigner. He comes back from an injury last week. Um, he had his first game back to test rugby. Um, um, and uh, as I said, um, he's, 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 he's getting back um, into uh, uh, into where we, we we want him to be. I think he, he contributes a lot in terms of of of, of our team. Um, and uh, um, yeah, we we're just looking forward to him uh, giving another step against uh, um, a very competitive team going forward. Uh, and yeah, we, we will take it game by game. Um, Nathan, I see you. You can go again. This. Everybody seems to have asked already. Uh, thank you again, Zina. Uh, Jock and yourself, Coach D, made it clear that the focus was the Rugby World Cup and building depth with experience. You've got Australia now, Argentina and the end of your tour. Are there any conversations regarding player management? Um, maybe resting guys like Eben, Lourdes, Malerba and more game time for San Juan, Franco and Thomas the Tank, as it was evident that in the second All Black game, fatigue was starting to kick in. Obviously, we, um, we we look at a, a player welfare and, and, and the performance of the, of the team are very important um, um, aspects what we look at. As I said previously, winning for us is important. We want to win every game as a Springbok team. We want to win the rugby championship. Um, but we always also have the big picture in mind. Um, and, and in doing that, um, we um, 
uh, we, we we look in our selections in terms of combinations. Um, we look at um, performances. We look at our own game plan and the way we do stuff, uh, making tweaks here and there. And and yeah, we're just fortunate having so much quality players within our squad, um, which 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 allow us to uh, um, to uh, to tweak here and there and make and uh, um, and 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 tactically, um, according to us, make selections in terms of what we think would be the best a team for, for, for a current game to give us rewards. So, um, yeah, going forward, um, that will always be a priority for us to ensure that we prepare to the best of our ability to, to ensure that the players are in a state to, to be at the best on game day. Sibu? Uh, thanks again, Zina. Uh, just another question for Warwick. Uh, th this weekend's uh, game, you know, you're not new to the Springboks. Um, you're obviously part of the, the World Cup squad. And just playing at wing, having played so well at fullback for, for, for the season, what sort of challenge are you expecting from the Wallabies? And are, are we going to see you with the ball uh, in, in your hands or are you going to chase high kicks uh, the whole game? I think um, the Wallabies is going to pose a different threat. I think the quality side, and what makes it even more difficult is the fact that we haven't played in the Super Rugby the last few years. So we don't, um, we haven't experienced how the Australian teams were playing this season. Um, so yeah, that would be a threat within themselves. Um, yeah, but we, we can only focus on ourselves. I think we, we also well prep. Um, and yeah, I feel like um, we, on a good space at the moment, and um, the way we as backline players who are gelling at the moment, I think we, it's going to be exciting game Saturday. Um, Ross? How's it, guys? Um, Dion, uh, obviously the kickoff times in Australia are a bit strange, you know, the sea, uh, for these two games down under. Um, you know, you got a 3 p.m. kickoff this week, you got a 7.31 next week. Are you expecting like very different, um, you know, conditions sort of with those uh, far apart kickoff times? And do you think it adds a bit of an extra challenge for you guys playing early in the day there in the kind of conditions that you're going to expect on the day? Yeah, Ross, it's a, it's a difficult question. Um, I mean, me being here for the first time in Adelaide, I think it's the first time we play here. Um, uh, currently, uh, we've experienced different uh, um, with the conditions, um, we've been in some rain today and also some sunshine. So, so as a team, we will just have to adapt in terms of of of, of what the conditions um, will be on the day. Um, we, we we try in in our training session and stuff to to ensure that we we simulate and and we understand um, different challenges that might come our way. Um, and yeah, uh, whether we play three o'clock in the afternoon or or half past six or seven in the after, uh, afternoon, uh, it's just something that we will have to adapt to and, and deal with the situation on the day. Uh, Mubin, is that another question? Uh, okay, let's go to Percy. Zina, thank you once again for this opportunity. Zina, can I ask my questions in Afrikaans? Uh, you can, Percy. Thank you so much, Zina. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Goedemiddag. I'm, I'm coach Dion and Dion. Goedemiddag, Warwick. Um, Dion, can I ask a question from vraag, vraag my colleague now? Over the situation of Afrika Ter Zaak, you have been named Gisteren Gerenda. How does this affect your monthly plans for the week? You know, it's now first Wednesday. Um, How does this affect your huidige weersomstandigheden, your plans for the week, for the monthly week? And it's just so to answer the question that you have first time in Adelaide to play. Um, is this so, 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 a wedstrijd waar die All Blacks in Bombela gaan speel het, is vreemde, vreemde environment vir julle. En dan vir, vir Warwick, Warwick kan ek jou vraag, op provinciale vlak, jy het nou pas genoem, jy het lang, jy het lang klaas in Super Rugby gespeel, jy het nou die laatste jaar in, in, in PRK gespeel. Vir die somers het jy baie license om te doen wat jy wil, so van, in die achterlijn. Nou skeel ek hierna week, moet jy op wing speel, het jy nou as zelfde vreed, nou op nationale vlak in die Springboks van, of moet jy maar hoop jy as moet jy gaan instructeer nou op die vlak? Uh, net op my vraag. Yes, yeah, nee, ek denk Adelaide is een um, is een prachtige plek. Ons kan nie dit geweldig hier ons te baie warm ontvangs gehad met uh, soveel afzet Afrikaners wat vir ons um, um, 
kom hallo sê dit op die op die lichaam dit was eintlik 'n boekie word geldig en ehm um, en en die stadium van die toons het om hier te wees en uh, en ehm um, en ons gaan die toons voorberei dan um, ten spyte van die van die verskillende sessioene in een dag ehm um, so uh, ek dink ehm um, die 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 verskillende omstandighede ek dink jy dit gaan 'n groot impak het op 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 um, hoe ons speel en wat ons ehm um, wat ons ehm um, hoe we manier hoe ons die wedstryd wil aanpak nie ek dink ehm um, hier en daar ehm um, in ons uitvoering is 'n sekere dinge wat ons seker maar net moet moet aanpas maar ehm uh, um, vir ons is die fokus op 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 wat ons wil wil doen hoe ons dit wil doen en 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 baie kan kan beter raak in in die verskillende departemente waarin ons speel en uh, ons besef Australië is 'n quality span dit kan dit kan 'n geweldige uitdaging wees dan sien baie uit daarna all right, we came out of that uh, briefing by the National Head for the Directorate of the Priority Crime Investigation, Lieutenant General Godfrey Lavare. And certainly some of those oh, figures hi. are absolutely outstanding. Hi guys, uh, can you just mute? The trillion rand worth of crime is being investigated. While the second quarter labour force survey is out, and there is some okay. good... Okay, there we go. Um, right. Um, who asked that, Nathan? Nathan <laughs> from Percy. Percy, yes. Oké, okay, cool. Percy, uh, Warwick, ik Ja, um, Percy, ja, ik, um, ik verstaan jouw vraag. Um, ik denk stormen zijn in in pokers als heel uh, verschillend. Um, als ook, ik denk die zoveel so vrijheid is weggevat. Die is net meer rol wat verander. Is net een nummer wat wat verander. Zo, so, ik denk in die span met die ouders met wie ik speel, met die ouders met haar allemaal, denk ik die zelfde rol zal zal ik die kan vervullen. Ik ben een verschillende nummer op mijn regio. So. Can you buy a fiscal and this? Mike Greenaway? Um, uh, Dion, I, th I think part of my question might have been answered in Afrikaans, but I'll just go again. Um, uh, uh, Adelaide is not known as a, a rugby stronghold at all. Um, uh, do you guys feel, is it, do you feel like you're under the radar there? Is there much sort of hype or interest about the game? And and just um, uh, if you had any interaction with with uh, expat South Africans, what's it like actually being there? Mike, I think um, as I said in Afrikaans, it, it, it's quite enjoyable to be. Here. I think it's a it's a, it's a beautiful city, uh, very friendly people. Um, um, we were also a bit surprised with the. Uh, uh, South Africans that uh, came to say hello to us on the airport, um, which we, 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 we thoroughly appreciate and uh, um, we're thankful for their support. Um, obviously, I uh, it's our first time here, so I'm not familiar with um, with the type of support uh, that we can expect on game day. But um, yeah, we as I said, we, we just enjoy being here and we're looking forward to playing um, our first game here in Adelaide. Thank you. Kobus? Hi, Can I go in Afrikaans? Yes, that's is Kobus. Thank you. My question for Warwick. Warwick, I think the Saturday, your 11th toets, said that you had a debut made 5 years ago. With the eye of the next year's world, is there a matter of desperation for you to be a good return in the set? With the thought of the world, what will come for the next year? Um, Kobus, ek dink die wereldbeker is net toevallig voor genoeg. Ek dink elke toets is haar bykie van die desperaatheid om vir die sprongboeke te speel. Um, vir my vooral, ek was lang klaas in die uh, span gewees en in die groep gewees. So vir my om terug te kan nie wees in die squad, dink ek is as baie, as, as a baie groot voorheid vir my so. Net om die kans te kry om weer vir die sprongboeke te speel op die klem van weer is, is speciaal genoeg. So ek dink Ja, ek geleend het wat ek kreeg, sal ek het nou al toe handen wil aangeriep heen. Uh, Lieten? Dankie Zee. Um, hi Warwick, hi Dion. Warwick, net om, net om bij te voeg daar so, ja, hoe belangrijk is het vir jou om, om geduldig te bly vir die kans en, en, en net in jou spasie te bly om, om seker te maak dat jy recht is om, om die kans aan te grijp wanneer dit daar is? Lieten, um, ek dink as jy as die aantal hoeveelheid groei en leer wat ek kan, kan toepas wanneer jy nie gekies word week en week uit toe, dink um, ons uh, bereid die ouwe so goed voor, vir wie speel as jy nie speel aan die ander kant, so dink die, 
die um, analysering wat ons doen op oppositie en ook om alle goede dier te gaan terwijl ons die speel nie, denk ek, laat jy soveel groei as jy speel. So ek denk, um, om beide kante deel te kan wees van die analysering en, en soos jy die geduld, ek denk dat, dat, dat ja, op mens baie, vir as jy geleend het om te weet dat, dat is recht voorbereid of die speel of nie speel nie. Um, Nathan, is that a new question? I is Zida. Okay, you can go. Uh, my question is for Babayaga or the Boogeyman. Um, congrats on your selection. I think person really asked in Afrikaans, but for content purposes, can we have the answer in English? Uh, uh, Boogie, what was the message from your coaches, Gazak st uh, Coach Stick? Did they give you freedom to express yourself? Or what was the conversation like with you? Yeah, um, I, I, don't, I don't think one of our bigs here are... Uh, I know, you know, press into a box of, of not expressing themselves. I think we have the freedom to play. Um, um, just the way we play, um, it's, it's working for us. So I think we are, we are, we are tight knit when it comes to that. Um, like I said, to, to person Africa, I says, well, it's, it's just the number and I bet that change, um, nothing else. Um, and I feel like that's, that's what, what, what makes me excited is the fact that I know, I know the guys that I'm playing with. So. I'm really looking forward for, for the opportunity to, to be on a win this weekend. Uh, Percy? Tina, thank you once again for another opportunity. Um, hoor ek, net so gaan praat van desperate hier, en voor, voor my aanvankelijke vraag, vraag, kan ek jou vraag, hier, en ons wil vannacht net weer, waar vandaan kom jou byna meneer? Um, kan ek jou, kan ek jou dan die tweede, die rechte vraag vraag, dan, ek, jy moet hy vraag my wat ander waak, waar vandaan kom jou byna? Kan jy weer eens vraag, hoor ek, jy het so gepraat nou, een rukkie gelede, is dat, jy het lang toe as een super rukkie gespeel, Die onzekerheid van jullie opponenten hier in naweek, meneer, is dit een lekker ding of is dit, is, is dit een meer van een uitdaging vir te wees, dat jullie speel waarschijnlijk tegen een span wat baie van jullie spelers nie die laatste paar seizoene of ja, laatste paar seizoene het ken gespeel het in super rugby nie. En Dion, kan ek jy net vraag, um, jammer, as ek mag, um, ek het die vraag vir, vir om Zondiri stik ook gevraag bijvoorbeeld, en ek gaan weer die kans vraag met die vraag. As jullie bestuur, jullie wees baie selfvertrouwe in, in, in Joseph Dweba, en daar verder so, meneer, um, uit baie gedoen om sy plek te verdien in die, in die, in die span. Maar, as jylle nie bekommer dat jylle waarschijnlijk in hierdie so van desperate wedstrijd vir al by spanne vir do, Joseph in die diep kan, dan toe gooi in hierdie wedstrijd. Baie dankie. Kosi, uh, my, my bijnaam kom van Kosi, is af, ek het gekry, hy had het graag afpas, en my trik het het vir my gegee, en Boogie het maar net gebruik met my, en het het geskiek tot nou toe. En dan, jou ander vraag, oor die, uh, ons het die super uit bespeel, ek dink, um, dan sal jy sê, dit is, is die onzekerheid nie, ek sal net sê, dat, um, jy weet, ons ten, ten die valleers gespeel het vroeger, ja, ons het in hulle in die competitie gespeel, so, jy het hulle spelers geken, jy het geweet hoe hulle een patroon lyk, en dis wat ek net bedoel het met, ons het in super uit bespeel, so ons kon nie die optel, um, en die spelers elke week in, week uit gespeel het in hulle nie, so, dit is maar net wat het, wat het, wat het bykie moeiliker gemaakt het, maar, Sê die Wallabies kon ons naar kyk as een span en so het het ons gejaap met ons voorbereid. Ja, Pussy, jy doen, Joseph Dweb was een baie belovende speler, natuurlijk het ek die voordeel gehad om hom as een junior springbok by twee wereldbekers af te rig. Hy is 120 span. Um, hy was ook in een stadium speler van die jaar. Um, het is baie blij vir hom dat hy in die stadium die geleentheid kry om op die vlak te speel. Um, natuurlijk is dit een um, stapje hoer as die normale competitie en ek dink um, om tegen Ellis Park op Ellis Park tegen die kwaliteit span toe New Zealand te speel en jy goed van jou twaak taak te kwijt, um, word baie gevraag vir so'n jong man, so ek sien baie uit om te sien in die volgende wedstrijd die nog een kwaliteit span en een kwaliteit competitie, um, dat kan net sy ervaring uitbouw uh, in termen van, van hoe jy dinge aanpak en, en hoe jy dinge doen, um, net soos baie van die rest van die spelers in die groep waar wat ons waar ons probeer om combinaties te bouwen, en ervaring op te bou en, en, en natuurlijk ook om wedstrijden te wens, so nee wat ons, ons, ons sien baie uit na die wedstrijd en, 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 en sien uit nou en hoe die manne hulle van hulle taak gaan kwijt vir komende zaterdag. Um, guys, we've got five minutes left. Any further questions? Uh, yes, please, Ina. Okay, you can uh, fire. Can I fire away, uh, Coach Dion? Just on the the front row is you 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 stuck with Ox um, at, at at number one um, after going with Trevor. Are you happy with those 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 options, uh, Coach Dion, that you have? And 
can we still consider ourselves, you know, very strong in that area uh, this season after starting so well in the scrums? And and on top of that, just on this record that we have in Australia, that is not so great. Did you guys look back on last year's performances um, and see what you could you could have fixed? Um, was it the, maybe the conditions post bubble, uh, post Lions series as well? Maybe you guys were a little fatigued after that intense. Uh, series. Uh, did you look back on it and, and see things that you can improve in terms of playing in Australia? Thank you. Well, definitely, we, we, we analyze our games and, and we also look back in terms of, of, of as I said, where every game where we can improve and, and, and where we actually did well. Um, obviously, Australia is a difficult place to, to tour in and, and, and Australia is a quality side. They've got a quality coach um, and uh, um, and they're very competitive. And, and I mean, every game that you play in this uh, rugby championship in, in your home country is a, is, is a tough game. I mean, last year, uh, um, when you tour New Zealand, um, it's tough. When you tour in Argentina, it's tough. When teams come to South Africa, it's, 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 it's tough to win there. So, yeah, um, 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 as I said, we, we've got huge respect for our opponents. And, and obviously, we... We we need to improve um, in 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 uh, on the lessons that we've learned and and and, and try to do that um, from last year. Um, so uh, going into this game, uh, definitely we as I said, um, we understand it's going to take a massive effort from everyone against the quality side, and uh, um, we will have to be at our best to ensure that we that we do well in terms of the combinations of 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 ox. Um, 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 Joseph and Franz. I mean, we we excited to have to have, um, as I said, uh, a, a quality props um, of, of that are starting, and also quality uh, props or, or front row coming off the bench. Um, again, obviously, that's um, I think the second or third game this year that they that they actually start together, and 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 I think they will they will just grow as a combination and 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 get better in in, in terms of what we. Uh, in terms of the um, in building experience and in terms of what they are doing, um, Trevor obviously is is a quality player that can play left, uh, loose it, and tight it. So obviously any team will will miss a quality player like that. But um, yeah, in this team, it's about everyone assisting and helping each other to become better, um, gain experience, uh, and in in order to to push everyone's standards. And uh, yeah, we we very confident and happy that these guys are getting another opportunity. And then, guys, we're going to close off the, the, the press conference with a, a final question from Percy. Thank you, Zina. Um, what, I don't want to belabor this point. Can I just, um, in English again, can I ask you, did, did I hear correctly, did you say your nickname uh, originates from your time at Corsis? And if so, sir, can I ask you, are you hoping to be the boogeyman against the Wallabies this coming weekend, the, t the, the man that they should be scared of? Percy, um, my, my nickname is coming from Austin. Um, Kosa is in Africa, so it wasn't Kofsis. Um, and yeah, like I said, um, so it's a perfect opportunity to play this weekend. And, um, I mean, there's a, a new guy, the Kanye um, who, who adopted the name Boogeyman. So yeah, luckily they take presence of me. <laughs> Cool. Thank you, guys. Thanks for, for joining our press conference. Uh, we'll be sending out the recording um, shortly. Uh, so, yeah, just keep an eye out for that on your on your emails. Um, thank you, Warwick and, and Dion. And uh, guys, have a lovely day. Bye bye. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.